The LHC adopted a tunnel system built for the previous collider. It is a circular accelerator situated in a tunnel 80 to 120 meters underground with a circumference of 27 kilometers. Two beams of subatomic particles, either protons or heavy nuclei, will be accelerated against each other inside the collider, close to the speed of light. Protons and nuclei are composed of quarks, elementary particles that stick together thanks to other elementary particles, gluons. Gluons function like glue in matter. They carry the strong force that is responsible for binding quarks together. Particles that are bound by this force are called hadrons, hence Large Hadron Collider. A particle beam starts its journey in a small linear accelerator and is gradually speeded up in different accelerators until it reaches a certain entrance velocity when it is transferred to the LHC. Before being injected into the collider, the beam is divided into two separate beams, both of which are driven to a final speed in different tubes and in opposite directions. The protons circle at 11,245 circuits a second and reach their final speed in 20 minutes. A sophisticated system of electromagnets surrounds the tubes in order to guide the particle beams through the circular accelerator tunnel so that they maintain the right position at all times. Special giant superconducting magnets were developed for the LHC. Each one measures over 14 meters, weighs 35 tons, and creates a magnetic field that is 150,000 times stronger than that of planet Earth. The magnets reach superconductivity by superfluid helium cooling. The underground ring has to be cooled to minus 271.3 degrees Celsius. That is approximately two degrees above absolute zero and thus a lower temperature than that of outer space. At such a low temperature, electric current flows through the coils of the magnet with zero electrical resistance, so that the magnets do not heat up. The tubes through which the particles accelerate at nearly the speed of light cross the collider ring several times. Neighboring tubes intersect at four collision points. Bunches of particles then rush against each other and collide. The collision sites are the most important parts of the accelerator. It is here that the actual experiments take place. Huge underground halls encircling the intersection points are equipped with 40 meter long, 20 meter wide cylinders. These are the detectors. The detectors monitor the collisions, localize and visualize them. They allow researchers to observe the behavior of the particle traces obtained, measure their speed, mass and charge, and in this way identify them. In principle, detectors work like a massive microscope or a digital camera equipped with millions of sensors, taking a picture of each event. The LHC detectors record 600 million collisions per second. There are four of them named after the four main experiments, ALICE, ATLAS, CMS and LHCB. There's much more to be involved